Hi, Hi Toby's, Toby's Blogs viewers. viewers. It's Toby's, Toby's Blogs. Once, Once again. again. So I realised that uh, over the last couple of weeks I've said some things that I really shouldn't have said and as a Christian I feel like I've kind of betrayed my Christian kind of ways and kind of said things that I shouldn't have said and I haven't been a, as good of a Christian as I could have been and so I just want to apologise for that. I just want to apologise and I kind of repent of what I said and what I did uh, talking about homosexuals and things that I know I upset uh, I upset one of my friends actually I did I actually upset um, not I upset one of my friends that I have online who really upset him and he left some really nasty comments and I had to remove them which weren't true but uh, so I've fallen out with him because of that video and now I'm kind of fallen out with my CU rep as I like to call it a CU rep, I don't know what they're called, CU worker, whatever. And so now, sorry, I just want to be say sorry. And that uh, sometimes I say things that I shouldn't say, and I constantly do this. Um, I don't know why, I just do it. And he was asking us questions about why did you say this, why did you say that, and I'm like, I don't know why I said that, I don't see why I did this and um, apparently I'm not setting a good example for other Christians out there who are watching my videos and I just want to say that I'm sorry um, one tech okay this is the Bible okay um, if I say something you take it as like a pinch of salt like, yeah, I have my opinions and things, but if you want anything to do with Christianity or the Bible, you just need to read it yourself in here. It's like, I don't know all the Bible. I don't even know bits of the Bible. I've been brought up learning the Bible. I have been brought up even more in the last two years, uh, understanding the Bible, recently doing Bible studies, which made me understand the Bible even more. And so, yeah, the best option for you if you want to know what i'm talking about or you don't agree with what i'm talking about if you don't know what i'm talking about don't listen to me go and look and look in the bible yourself because there you'll find better answers than what i'm giving you um and i do try my hardest to be a good christian and to um follow the gospel and the bible like i'm meant to um, it's just some things do get complicated sometimes and that period I had there was quite an angry period um, I spent a lot of time making a video and everyone was just moaning about a small little thing and it just really annoyed me and so that week kind of was a week of moaning and groaning and also my brother was in the hospital as well and so with that hospital stress there my brother could have died and then my other brother went into hospital uh, he had cancer and had a constipation blockage and i was like oh he could have died and so your brothers are constantly could die any minute you too would be quite in a scared shocked kind of upset mode really and so that's what i was like uh the couple of weeks i did those videos but hopefully we'll try and uh, uh be make better videos i feel um and so yeah my CU rep wanted me to stop making videos because there was a kind of a bad influence 
or my Christianity and myself. But I feel that that can't be a possibility um, because Tony's blog is my life, really. And I know it sounds sad, but it's like without you guys, I have nothing to do. And so it's not just about the videos, it's not just about the productions, it's not just about that it's also about the friends and the people you meet on YouTube, the friends you make on YouTube, the whole community of YouTube of making friends. There's a friend of mine, I've made so many friends, uh, Joe from Nottingham, Joel, um, Karis, Matthew, I'm sure there's loads more. Henry, Martin, all these other people that I've met on YouTube. And it's like, it's amazing that you make so much new friends on YouTube. And so I feel that I should continue to do my blogs on YouTube. But I will try and cut them, uh, kind of edit the content so it is more, it is less insulting less insulting and less um telling you stuff i don't know about i admit that i am i am ignorant on the church's view on homosexuality i know the catholics are against it i know the church of england kind of accept it we don't accept the actual sexual acts of homosexuality but i'm not sure about evangelicals born again Christians, what they are. So um, I tell you, I'm ignorant in that aspect. I was brought up in the Church of England. I went to a Catholic school, so that I know their kind of ways. But evangelicals, born again Christians, is something I'm new to. So it's not something that I'm very really in-depth knowledge about. So I'll be quite, I can tell you the position of the Catholic Church, the position of the Church of England Church, but I probably not very knowledgeable on the evangelical church and their ways and so that's where the ignorance kind of comes in i'm not really sure about that and that's why i should really admit it but as i said the best knowledge the best way to get knowledge about christianity the best way to get knowledge about anything to do with christianity or about jesus about god is to go to the bible itself there's loads of things i would advise you to read the gospels the gospels are the ones that um, are the most important out of all of them. Old Testament, I'm probably get told off for saying this, but I feel, I haven't read much of the Old Testament, but I don't feel like it's very important. It is important because it has prophecies, it has things about Moses, the Ten Commandments, the Genesis story, all these other stories and the history and everything. But it's like the Gospels are more important than the, the Old Testament. About Jesus, how we should live our life. You could read Revelations as well, which I thought was really exciting. Oh, I love reading Revelations about monsters and beasts and devils. And, yeah. When I was reading it, it was like it was a storybook, kind of. Like, all these mythical creatures comes down and this woman has something, something. And it was like Revelations and said, oh, you were all going to hell, and then this monster will come up, and then it's like, all souls, and I want to be Revelation, because it's apparently Revelation's relating to what's happening now, and so it is quite violent, that book, um, let's see if I can find a passage from it, it should be in the back, Revelations, the rider of the white horse, I saw heaven standing open there before me, it was a white horse, whose rider was called Faithful and True, it is quite weird. The death will be judged. Satan's doom. I'm sure there was a passage somewhere about an um, evil beast or a monster. The fall of Babylon. After this I saw another angel coming down from heaven. He had great authority and the earth was Ill illustrated by his splendour. With a mighty voice he shouted, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has she has become a home for demons and a home for Haunt for every evil spirit, or haunt for every unclean and disturbable bird. Yes, it is quite a weird read. And it's about demons and being filled with demons and what will happen. And it says in there that that, that the Bible, the book there, is the 100% truth of God and that it cannot be tampered with, and he who tampers with it 
we'll be going to hell, or something like that. A few tempers of the curse forever, or something like that. I can't remember what it was. I read it quite a, a couple of weeks ago, or put it a month ago or so. Um, a bit is interesting, and so the Bible is a very, very interesting read. Like, even this morning, I was reading the Gospel. I was meant to be reading for the Bible study, and it was really interesting reading. And you're thinking, like, it's like the book I've got. I've read Luke, and it's like a really small kind of book. Each chapter is really, really small, and you just read it, note, take notes on it, and stuff. And it is, it is the Word of God, one hundred percent the Word of God, um, one hundred percent. So go and read the Bible. That's the best way to do it. You don't, you don't need to take everything I say seriously. Uh, I have my opinions, you have your opinions. But the best way about Christianity is to go and consult the Gospels and the Bible themselves, rather than take my word for it. So hopefully, um, my apologies, um, I just want to say, um, yes, I'm sorry if, if I've upset anybody. I'm, ups uh, I'm always upsetting people, but as uh, being in Toby's blog, it's really hard to please everybody. It's hard to please people who like productions, and also hard to please people who just like normal blogs, people who are religious, people who are doo -doo -doo like this, who like that, people who like shouting, people who like madness, people who like swearing, and it's like, I can't please everyone, and that's, that's, the, that's the complex I have here, that I can't please everybody. And I might, in fact, be removed from the Christian Union because of my blogs, which I think is unfair, but... Um, oh well. So, uh, yeah, so please go and read the Bible, and instead of taking my word for it. Some videos will be taken down, so you won't be able to watch them anymore. Um, only the, only the uh, recent couple of ones. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'll see you soon. Uh, tomorrow, in fact, with um, the London Dungeons return to the London Dungeons, and it will be a good video. Um, uh, which um, it's going to be a good video. So I'll see you. Toby's blog signing out. I'm sorry to anyone I'm upset, and um, goodbye. <laughs>